What's going on, guys? Uh, today we're going to be talking about Mari Chasana B. Um, so without further ado, let's get right into it. So coming from your downward facing position, on an inhale, step or jump the feet through into Dandasana, seated position, starting with the left leg first, bringing the left leg into half lotus, bringing the right leg up. Now, if lotus is difficult for you, you'll see my left leg is on top of my thigh. If lotus is difficult for you, this puts a lot of pressure on the knee, hurts the back, hurts the foot. You can actually just place the foot on the ground, placing the left heel in front of the right hip, bringing the right heel in front of the left foot, and coming to this position, effectively getting the same stretch without being as intense on the knee, as intense on the hip. So if you're coming from this position, we're going to start off just like we did in Marichasana A, bracing with the left arm, reaching the arm, right arm forward, around, and back, and then taking the bind, grabbing the right, the left arm with the right hand, and on an inhale, lifting the chest, and on an exhale, holding forward, and holding there for five breaths. Now, if you can't take the bind, you can just rest the arm onto the, onto the hip, onto the foot, even pressing onto the ankle, working the shoulder a little bit here, and taking the arm as far back as possible, and then holding forward. Now, if you have the lotus, you can take the left leg into half lotus, bringing the right leg up, bringing the right heel to meet the hip. Again, bracing with the left arm, reaching the right arm up, forward, around, and then taking the bind here. Now, again, same, same corrections. If you can't take the bind, you can just rest here, rest here, and just trying to work the shoulder back to bring the hands together. If you have the bind, on an inhale, lift the chest, and exhale, fold forward, bringing the head down in between the knee and the foot, holding here for five breaths. After your five breaths, inhale with the chest, exhale, release, release the foot, and then inhale, pick it up, step or jump back, inhale, upward facing, exhale, downward facing. On an inhale, step or jump through, and then onto the left side. So left side meaning right leg in half lotus, left knee comes forward. So on an inhale, bring the right knee, right leg into half lotus, left, left leg comes up. Now again, if you're having trouble with the half lotus on this side, you can release the foot, bring the right heel in front of the left hip, bring the left heel in front of the right hip. On an inhale, lift the left arm up, forward, around, take the bind if possible, or just hold on to the knee, bringing the arm as far back as possible. So it looks something like this. So the right leg is in, bracing with the right arm, left arm comes up, forward, around, and then we're gonna take the bind here, or just as much as is possible, and you can slowly work the shoulder, work the right arm, to slowly start bringing those hands together, walking the fingers, and then taking the bind. Of course, if you have your lotus, you can bring the right leg into half lotus, left leg comes up, racing with the right arm, bringing the arm around forward, and then taking the bind. Once you're here, you inhale with the chest, and exhale, fold forward, bringing the head down in between the knee and the foot. Holding here for five breaths.
After your five breaths, inhale with the chest. Exhale, release. Inhale, pick it up. Step or jump back and lower down. Okay, guys, that's going to be all for Mario Chasana B. I'll see you in the next one.